Well, as tempting as it may be, we don't have to be confined to the couch while we're social distancing. That's true. Darn Let it. some local serve as inspiration for this. A group of runners are now the fastest team in America, logging more than 3,000 miles in just 16 days. Carlos caught up with them, and they beat out professional athletes for the title. Carlos, uh, quite an achievement. Yeah, these regular Joes beat out a bunch of Olympic athletes to finish number one. TJ Daly is a Noblesville resident. He's a 40 something. He got a bunch of his dude friends together to run the Great American 5000, which is 5000 kilometers from San Francisco to New York. It's 3100 miles. It's done virtually and you're not going to believe this. His team was the best in the country. So TJ, am I talking to the fastest guy in America right now? I wish. So you guys were the fastest team to virtually run across America in the Great American 5000? I mean, it was amazing. So it's a run from San Francisco to New York, 3,107 miles. Each team got a collective 24 hours a day to run. So what we did was we had 24 members on our team and we gave each person their own hours. They ran every day and the first team that made it to New York won. And we won by 550 miles. How many teams were there? A little over 250 teams or about 4,500 runners. From across the country. They had 49 out of 50 states and 17 or 18 other countries. A bunch of dudes from the north side of Indianapolis are the fastest guys to run across the country. Somehow it worked out that way. What's the secret to your success? We set expectations up front. So we took this seriously, you know, up front, you're gonna run your hour. Here's an, here's an example. My youngest brother was on the team. About halfway through the race, his wife gave birth to their third child. <laughs> he did not miss his hour that day. So his wife is giving birth and he's like, honey, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta run my, I gotta run. I gotta my run. hour in, absolutely. So he didn't miss his hour. He set those expectations up front. And I think as the time went along, the idea that you were letting people down kind of grew within each runner and they didn't want to let their teammates down. So it just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. What did you guys get as a big prize? I really think the prize is seeing the way the team perform. This isn't a team of professional athletes. Now, we were competing against some teams that had professional athletes on them. There were some Olympians out there, some world record holders. Seeing these people, this group of guys, far exceed what they thought their, their abilities were was probably the biggest victory for all of us. How many miles were you running per day during this race? This race, you ran the mini 16 days in a row. You got up, <laughs> you ran as hard as you could, as fast as you could, right, responsibly, and then you did it again the next day. Not too bad for, uh, you know, 41 year olds. What advice would you give to people who are having problems getting off the couch during this whole COVID-19 crisis? Just get up, get out, walk a little bit, run a little bit. When you're in your, your late 30s, your 40s, your 50s, you're not gonna feel like you did when you ran in high school. It's just not gonna happen. If it feels better as you progress, keep going a little further. If it gets worse, stop, try again the next day, but you can get through it. You just be confident in yourself and take your time. It's okay to run a 20 minute mile, a 15 minute mile, you'll get there. What a great story. And if you want to see all 24 of these runners, you can go to WTHR.com. we got a list of all the guys. And get this, it reminds me of the movie Breaking Away. Remember that movie, you know, about guys from Bloomington and the Little Five, the Cutters, who went out there and they were just a bunch of regular guys and they competed in the Little Five and did really well? That's what these guys remind me of on the north side. They basically have a bunch of guys who like to run, but they didn't think they were going to, like, finish in first place by 550 miles, and they blew away the competition proving that even though the Colts and the Pacers and the Indians and the Fever aren't currently playing right now, we still have a national championship team right here in Indianapolis. Ben, Julia.